Dr. Biology here, and this is part nine, and this is ATP related to A level biology and biological molecules. So let's get started. So let's look at the basic properties of water. So, water is a metabolite in many reactions. So, hydrolysis reactions, condensation reactions, and a cell's metabolic reactions, they all occur in aqueous solution. But most of its properties result from the ability of water molecules to stick together or be cohesive. Now, if you look in the table, you can see a comparison between humans and E. coli, so eukaryotes and prokaryotes, and you can see the importance of water. It is by far the largest amount or percentage of body mass of both organisms, whether it's multicellular or unicellular. So water structure. So each hydrogen atom shares its electron with the atom of oxygen, as you can see in the diagram. Because the oxygen atom has more protons than the hydrogen atoms, it pulls more strongly on these electrons. So the oxygen end of the molecule has a slight negative charge and the hydrogen ends have a slight positive charge. Therefore, the molecule is what we call dipolar or polar is, is fine. So when water molecules get close together, the oppositely charged parts of the molecules attract each other and they form hydrogen bonds. And we call this cohesion. Now, just a um, bit of information. You don't need to be able to draw these water structures in an exam. I've only included them in here because it shows uh, diagrammatically um, the connection between the hydrogen and the oxygen. What you'll need to learn is the properties of water. Now, this is a very popular five mark question. So they'll ask you about the properties of water and then say, well, what, what, why is that important? So as we've already said, it's an important metabolite. We're going to look at um, the fact that it has high latent heat of vaporization. It can buffer changes in temperature. It's a good solvent and, and there are strong cohesive forces. So let's look at the, how water is an important metabolite. So metabolic reactions involve a condensation or hydrolysis reaction. So hydrolysis requires a molecule of water to break a bond. Condensation releases a molecule of water as a new bond is formed. Water has a high latent heat of vaporization. So a lot of energy gets used up when water evaporates or vaporizes. So this is useful as when organisms sweat, the vaporized water molecules carry away the heat from the body. This allows the organism to cool down without losing too much water. Water can buffer changes in temperature, which is really important within organisms. So hydrogen bonds between water molecules can absorb a lot of energy. So water has what we call a high specific heat capacity. This is useful as water doesn't experience rapid temperature changes, making it more stable. So this allows organisms to maintain a constant internal body temperature. This next bit is just a bit more information about oceans. They are really thermally stable. There's very little temperature fluctuations because of the large volumes of water. So that makes water an ideal habitat for many organisms. Water is known as a good solvent, so the metabolic reactions can occur. Important substances such as salt are ionic because water is polar. The positive end will attract the negative ion. And the negative end of the water will be attracted to the positive ion. So ions can be surrounded by water molecules, i.e. meaning they will dissolve. Water is also also cohesive, which is uh, important for both plants and animals. So um, water molecules are known as polar, so they, they're sticking together, cohesive. Cohesion helps water to flow. So in plants, that's how water travels up the xylem in plants, supporting columns of water. Water has a high surface tension when it comes into contact with the air, so it supports small organisms such as the pont skater in this example, Geris lacustris. 
Okay, so I hope you found that really useful. Um, as I said, it's a very important section. They love to ask five mark questions on this. So know the different properties and uh, explain the importance of those properties. I hope you found it useful. Please do subscribe to Dr. Biology and I will see you soon.